Hello again to all who have tuned in, podcasting from Ontario, California. Welcome to Fractured Poet, a podcast for all of you poetically insane individuals out there who love getting lost in the art of poetry. I am your host, Katrina Wisniewski, just another person in the world obsessed with words, striving to make sense of it all. Today's poetry is based off of life and its complexities. As we all know, life can just be one massive pain in the ass. It's confusing, irritating, pointless, and quite frankly, just makes you want to regurgitate. The two poems I chose for this episode kind of reflect just that. One poem talks about a phrase I'm sure we have all used at one time or another, or a phrase that we constantly hear from other people because let's face it. It's something to say when there's really nothing else left to say. The first poem is called, It Is What It Is. It is what it is, so I've been told. Yet I'm left to wonder, what does that even mean? So you mean to tell me that it is what it is when being judged and criticized is the new norm? Or when a single mother of three can never catch a break? What does it mean when someone says, well, it is what it is? I don't understand this concept, or maybe I am overanalyzing, but as some like to preach, it is what it is. My reasons for writing this poem is pretty simple. Life doesn't make sense. Like the saying, everything happens for a reason, it is what it is can sometimes get under my skin. It's a saying people say when they don't know how to explain a current situation. It's a saying people use when there are no words to describe what people, what someone is going through. In other words, there is nothing you can do about it right now. So it is what it is. But moving on, the second poem is called This World of Mine. There is much to learn in this world of mine. Things are complicated and complex, never knowing which direction to go. Forgetting to remember what it was like to live a simple life, always being judged, unable to take a breath. So many unfamiliar things, so many different emotions, no longer able to sort out my feelings. I am lost in this world of mine. As irritating as it might be to feel these feelings about life's complications and its obstacles, as I've mentioned in previous episodes, it's good to write it out. My poetry is a form of therapy and a way for me to vent, as I've mentioned in earlier episodes. Not that writing about it clears everything up, but sometimes it helps me understand where I stand at that moment. However, I think it's safe to say on my behalf that poetry is my life. I have a passion for poetry that has only grown more intensely than when I first started. I have learned to master certain styles of poetry, yet I know there is still more that I need to learn, more that I need to explore. After all, I am poetically insane. Well, that about wraps up this episode. So to those of you who tuned in today, I hope you enjoyed what you heard and join me next time. You can catch this episode and future episodes at anchor.fm forward slash Fractured Poet. This episode of Fractured Poet was written and produced by me, Katrina Wisniewski. Music by both Alternative Rock Volume 1 and Rock Electronica Volume 4 from a website called freeplaymusic.com. You can also follow me on Instagram at Fractured Poet. And as always... Thanks for listening, and until next time.